Now, yesterday we talked about some Modern Warfare 2 weapons that weren't in the beta via our public playable build, but they were in the game via a short-lived glitch, and they were an indication as to what's to come in terms of a fuller offering for weapons at launch. On top of that, we mentioned that not really a whole ton leaked out from the multiplayer game files on PC as we'd see normally, but we did mention that we weren't necessarily leak-free. Today we're going to be discussing the potential leaked camo challenges for Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer, maybe what we'll be able to grind out, but likely what we see now isn't the full big picture. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What are you looking forward to the most out of Modern Warfare 2? What do you hope to see in terms of that mastery camo, or perhaps mastery camos, plural, as we saw with Damascus and Obsidian in Modern Warfare 2019? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below, but if you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2 in the coming days to weeks. If you'd like to join us on the road to half a million subscribers while stay up to date with absolutely everything. It's going to get busy here, so I'd love to have you in the community. And finally, we'll be live on Twitch here tonight and regularly again leading up to launch. So if you guys want to come chat and hang out, links in the description below. I'd love to see you out there. But for now, let's talk about Modern Warfare 2's potential leaked camo challenges. So this information comes from data miners who, uh, Y'all gotta chill with some of these online names sometimes. Linked below, he pulled some information that was available from the beta build. There wasn't a whole ton, but some of the stuff was credible, and in some cases, it's even been removed via DMCA copyright takedowns. So stuff's legit, so if you go there, do know that you're entering leaked territory. There's some campaign mission details, not like super specifics, but information on what characters are in which mission, where those locations, and when they are in the timeline, stuff like that. Some top level things. But this data miner apparently found leaked camo challenges, potentially air quotes on leaked for the camo challenges for Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer. Now, the proposed list here of this follows the same sort of parameters as we've seen in the past with different quantities, depending on what classification of weapon you're working on. But the assault rifles were listed as 800 kills, 125 headshots, 160 crouch kills, 75 hip fire kills, 100 long shots, 100 mounted kills, 180 full attachment kills, 50 reload kills, 110 no attachment kills, and 35 street kills, which are three kills without dying. The SMGs were 500 kills, 100 headshot kills, 110 crouch kills, 100 hip fire kills, 50 long shot kills, 50 mounted kills, 250 full attachment kills, 40 reloaded kills, 75 no attachment kills, and 25 street kills. Now, come to think of it, when you look at the list of all of these camo challenges, doesn't it seem kind of familiar? If it does, well, that's good because it should. They are nearly the exact same challenges as we saw in Modern Warfare 2019, so much so to the point that there's only actually nine challenges listed out of all of these across the board that are not exactly the same. There's very few that also don't have the same challenge subsets, instead are just changed on quantity. Six of those eight are just different totals. Two of those are missing certain criteria in what seems to be an incomplete list. The LMGs have a different double kill challenge total, 30, as opposed to 50 from Modern Warfare 2019. The shotguns have 65 crouch kills listed instead of 75 in Modern Warfare 2019. There's 50 headshots instead of long shots. There's 100 full attachment kills instead of 225 in Modern Modern Warfare 2019. There's no double kills listed on shotguns, and there's 30 reload kills listed instead of the 35 that we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. The sniper rifle challenges, there's 45 holding breath kills in place of what seems to be double kills. And then the knife challenges, you're just missing the total number of kills that you'd need overall. But everything else across the board for every single weapon category is the same as Modern Warfare 2019. So on one hand, could these be a copy and paste? I mean, sure, but I don't see that happening. While a lot of people will jump to, oh, they just are copying and pasting this game again. Coming back to it, I don't think this is the full picture. To me, this is just legacy leftover challenges. In fact, this also isn't the only time that we saw this in the beta. It's not an isolated incident. Another rumor that popped up within the beta in weekend two here again, like in that sort of first couple of minutes when the beta was preloadable on Xbox and people could get in and access the game in the offline menu, a Twitter user by the name of Scar tweeted the following image. Now, at first, everybody was kind of losing their mind because this would have been our first look at the camo challenges well ahead of when, of course, we'd end up having any sort of hands-on time with them. Camos, obviously, this year is the first time where we saw any cosmetics at all in the beta, but we don't ever see camo challenges, especially ones that you can grind out in the beta. That's always usually reserved for launch. However, if you look at these, every single one of those camos 
is a camo from Modern Warfare 2019. Every single one. You had your challenges and your completionist ones, then you had those CDL camos, which, if they look familiar, they're the same patterns as Cold War and slightly different than Vanguard, but for the most part, the same. They're all the same. Then you have the Activision Aces and Banded camos, two of the rarest camos in COD history, by the way. And then you have the code pack from launch that gave you a camo universally across all weapons as well. But those were definitively placeholder camos. And with that in mind, I think we can say with confidence that this, as well as those challenges, are more than likely placeholders. No matter how much you want to say COD is copy and paste, I get it. They build the game off of prior builds, but that's exactly why these things happen. That's exactly why we see things from a different game in that sort of base build of what we have on offer. And if it's any consolation as well, usually we don't even see camos close to launch. That's something that in the past couple of years, I've been fortunate enough to play early builds of games for each of the mainline titles, and especially right around launch. The last couple of years, there's been a pre-release event for press and content creators to prep content going into the launch and the embargo, usually about like 12 to 18 hours before the game launches globally. I've played pre-release versions of that less than a week before the game's launch where camos were not either in the game or they weren't the same at all. Black Ops 4 is actually one that comes to my mind. If I have any footage, I'll put it up on screen for you guys to know what I'm talking about. But the Dark Matter camo in particular is the one that always stood out to me. I think it was called Singularity at the time. It was entirely different and it looked awesome. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was gold or like the diamond also is pretty changed as well. But again, that was a few days, like four to five days before the launch of the game. Camos are usually one of the last things finalized here and usually can be day one patch items. So could they be in the beta build? Sure. Could this actually be our full launch offering of camos? Again, sure. But when we have two things like this that overlap where both are identical listings of the prior game, I'm less inclined to believe that they're upcoming year's challenges and more inclined to believe that they're just leftover legacy code built from the framework of Modern Warfare 2019 that was crafted into Modern Warfare 2. And honestly, when you look at some of these challenges, they don't make a whole ton of sense for the systems in play. Also, mounted challenges kind of were the thing back in Modern Warfare 2019. That was the first time we saw that system at hand. I kind of think that we're going to see some camo challenges tethered to weapon platforms, perhaps, on certain weapons, while not every weapon has a weapon platform. With how many different things fundamentally they changed out from Modern Warfare 2, it doesn't make much sense to me to straight up copy and paste the criteria from Modern Warfare 2019 to Modern Warfare 2. There might be some similarities and maybe some overlap, but for the most part, I'm expecting at least a little bit different. But that said, that's where we're at here at this one. I'm sure you guys are very much so excited for some leaks and learning more about Modern Warfare 2 and the full game on offer. As am I, trust me, I'm right there with you. But right now, I think this one, you might be able to take with a pinch of salt and maybe overlook it, at least for right now. There's just a little bit too much to me that is evidence against these being the correct camo challenges, but I guess we'll wait and see. I could absolutely be wrong, and in that case, totally fine with that. But that's where we're going to wrap it up. I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this year? Do you think these will be the camo challenges that we see in-game for Modern Warfare 2? Do you think it is just something that's left over legacy code? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2. We've got a lot upcoming. It's going to be a busy next couple of weeks and months. So if you'd like to stay up to date with everything and join us on the road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you in the community. For now, thanks so much for watching. Honestly, Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.